Welcome guys to another episode of Faiz Retro and today we're going to be playing Shinobi 3 Get it on. Okay, so here's the game menu. That's my cat. So here's the options. You can set the hardness of the level. They also give an option of how many shurikens to start. Okay, here's the first level. First level, um, what do you call it? Opening scene. Op cut scene, opening scene. Let's just get familiarized with the buttons first. Okay, so I know A, A is the they call it like like a full power, like a ninjutsu. They only give like one ninjutsu per level. So I'm just gonna save it for bosses or like there's a lot of enemies. You can also change the types of ninjutsu. So how to do that is you have to to press start. Yeah, obviously they will pause the game. Then as shown on the screen, select a ninjutsu. So if you want to have a different ninjutsu, you just have to toggle with the left and right directional buttons. There's a different type of jutsu. I haven't really explored the different types of ninjutsu yet, but you can check on the web. They provide different descriptions of the different ninjutsu. So the B button is the attack button. By long range attack, you will throw a shuriken. But this shuriken is, I think it's called kunai, is it? Kunai, and it's not the normal uh, ninja star uh, shuriken. It's a different type of uh, shuriken. For jump is the C button. There are also different types of jumps. You can just have a normal short jump or when you press and hold, it will have a higher jump. Yeah. But you can also do a double jump on mid-air but it's annoying sometimes because you can only do it like, not all the time, you can only do it like sometimes. I still don't know why. The double jump is what people typically struggle with in shinobi games. You have to be pretty precise and hit the second jump more or less at the very top of your jump arc. Once you get the timing, you'll never lose it, but it can take a bit of practice. Then the ninja dash, they call it the ninja dash, is basically running or just a normal dash. Like all the other games, you just have to double tap on the directional buttons. Yeah, that's the dash. You can also jump and attack and this is a cool feature whereby you jump and kick downwards. You can do it like close range attack to an opponent. When you dash across an opponent, you can also do an attack. But it's not a normal attack. It's a attack with the katana. Katana? Kitana? Katana. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So as you can see, these are the stupid opponents. <laughs> there, there are also items you can pick up. Power-ups. Okay, the power-ups normally are inside the boxes or they can just appear from anywhere. Okay, pick up, I just pick up a power-up. Yeah, you can also block. This is a nice feature, you can also block. You have to press and hold the attack button, then you will block. Ah, there you go. Let's try it on the enemy's attack. There, there you go. You see that? Yeah. Okay, let's just play, man. I'm tired of explaining. <laughs> when you are very close with the opponent, the shinobi won't throw a shuriken. They will do a melee attack with the katana. You see? There you go. There's a ninja girl as well. <laughs> okay, that's, that's the dynamite. As you can see, it just exploded. You cannot pick it up. Okay, here's the mini boss because he's more stronger than the opponents. He can block the, the attacks as well. So you just have to wait until the mini boss attacks, then you can attack it. Here comes the boss. 
the main boss for this level, for this round. It's similar with the mini bosses, except that it's stronger. You need more hits to kill it. Yeah, so that's for the first level. I'm not sure if it's the same level or like there's a sub level for every level, I think. If you want to climb on the ropes, you have to jump and press the up directional button so that it will stick onto the rope. Eh. Okay, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I just lost a life. Okay, I forgot to mention, once you fall off the ledge or cliff, you will eventually lose a life. So as you can see, it's like a monkey bar. The shinobi is like doing a monkey bar thingy. So when you want to drop, you have to press the jump and down button at the same time. Yeah. Okay, let's go. More enemies. Oops. Oh, that's the dynamite. You can see the countdown there. Oh. This is one of my favorite moves of the game. Where you can, what do you call it? You can zigzag jump up a wall. Okay, watch this, watch this. Cool, right? <laughs> More obstacles. Better watch out for the sharp objects. Okay, that's the double jump that I mentioned just now. I knew it. Okay, here's the boss level for this round. As you can see, he has a lot of arms. Oh. Ah, shucks. As you can see, the shinobi needs more height to jump to avoid the dash attack from the enemy. So the only way to attack this boss is by attack from its behind or wait for it to finish the dash attack. Ah, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Ah, shucks. Oh no, okay, I just lost a life. You cannot attack the boss from the front because it's already shielding the front. Okay, let's try if we can block the dash attack, see if it works. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> wow, finally. Come on. <laughs> yes, finally I defeated the boss. Oh, so it's still the same level. It's just a different, a different sub-level. So this is round 2 or level 2. Secret entry. It's a different location. Wow. I didn't expect that. So now you're riding a ho basically riding a horse. Oh, okay. I just activated the ninjutsu by accident. So let's see how it works. Okay. So basically, this electric uh, ninjutsu is is like a it's like a shield for you. So once like let's say an opponent attacks you, you will be protected. Okay. I think this is the boss music. This should be the boss. The music changes, so I'm guessing this is the boss. Yep, it is. Okay, beware of the spears. You have to avoid it. So the best time to attack the boss is actually when he dashes across you after he throws the spears. Two more shurikens left. I don't think I can make it. Okay, I forgot to mention, once your shurikens are finished, you can only use the katana, the melee attack. Oh, finally, <laughs> I actually defeated the boss with the katana. Okay, in conclusion, this game is actually one of the best games I played on the Sega Genesis Mini because it has a lot of um, nice fighting features like you can you can do a, like a, the grounded attacks, different types of attacks. You can even block block attacks, and you can even like shield yourself by attacking the incoming shurikens or the bullets from the enemies. So yeah, it's a nice game actually. So that's all I have for today's episode. I'll definitely try out different games from this console on the next few episodes. So, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.